Hey guys, wanted to show you. Here's the uh, nose gear completely painted. Uh, it turned out pretty good. I don't really have anything to complain about. I still need to paint the uh, hubs of the wheel, but um, I'm going to take a couple days off from painting. Um, it's a real tedious task, but anyhow, um, you can see all the little nooks and crannies there. Um, I think it turned out pretty nice. Um, Gonna go ahead and extend this out here. And you can see there's a few spots where there's some interaction. You can see the silver there, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave that stuff just like that. Uh, same thing, you can see some there, but uh, I think it actually gives it a pretty nice uh, weathered, kind of realistic. Uh, look to it. If you look at some of the pictures on the internet of the gear, um, this gear gets pretty grimy um, unless it's on the Thunderbird. So anyways, so that looks really good. Um, now we'll go to the main gear. Um, not as happy with the, the main gear, um, but I think that's uh, probably mostly my fault. Um, overall, it looks pretty good. Um, you can see again where there's some uh, interaction where the paint's worn off. Um, that doesn't really bother me a whole lot. I've kind of sanded it a little bit smooth. I might hit that with an airbrush later where the paint will be a little bit thinner. Um, but I think I laid it on kind of thick. Um, on the underside here, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show it or not. I've tried to sand most of it off. But um, it looked almost like fingerprints. But I barely, barely touched this. The only time I really touched this, there you can see kind of a little bit there. Um, the only time I really touched this was assembling it. So I think I don't, didn't let it uh, dry long enough. I'm going to put this out in the sun and just let it bake today so that the paint becomes less rubbery. But I think what's actually happening, I don't think it's necessarily um, fingerprints. But I think the paint is actually kind of compressing on itself when I like fold the gear in and out and stuff because um, it's still kind of elastic so what we're going to try to do is uh, just bake it and make it uh, I'd rather have it be flaky than elastic just that way I can figure out what's going on but anyways, I didn't paint the ball joints um, I can paint those at another time if I need to but uh, right now I think it looks fine um, you can see where I masked that off I think that looks pretty cool um, looks like the real hydraulics so anyway but uh, overall it turned out pretty awesome I just I guess I'm just picky but you can see here again there's some of those interactions uh, same thing on the inside there but overall Pretty good. So I think I'm pretty much done with the gear for right now. Like I said, I'll touch up a little later with a airbrush. Uh, maybe I can put the paint on thin enough that that won't occur there. But anyway, we'll get the final details later um, when I do weather the gear. Um, most of this stuff will be not important anyway so there you go gear is done and we can move on to something else